Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I have a really fun recipe to show you. I'm going to show you how to make homemade falafel from scratch. Super yummy recipe using a whole lot of fresh herbs and ingredients. Let's get started. Now the main start of the falafel are the chickpeas. So what you need to do is soak some dry chickpeas overnight and what will happen is they will expand in size. So for this recipe, I'm using one cup of dry chickpeas that have been soaked and they've actually become two cups here. One thing you cannot do is use canned chickpeas or they will become really mushy. Now for the fresh herbs, I've got a whole bunch of a variety. So I'm using one cup of parsley, one cup of coriander, about four shallots and a handful of mint. And of course, one garlic clove. Now for the herbs, you just want to roughly chop them all. It doesn't have to be precise because they are going to all go into a food processor. Now add your chickpeas into the food processor and I give it a quick pulse together. Now you want to add all of your fresh herbs. Now once you've blitzed them together so they're all mixed, you want to start adding some spices. So make sure you don't blend it too much to start with. I'm having here one teaspoon of cumin and half a teaspoon of baking powder. That'll help them fluff up a little bit. And now I'm adding two tablespoons of flour. I'm using chickpea flour, but you can use any flour that you like. I season also with some salt and pepper. And next add three tablespoons of water. And now blitz it again together. And halfway through, use a spatula and push it down on the side so you're getting all the bits. Now this is the texture that you want to be after. See, you can still see the chickpeas and the herbs. Gorgeous colours. Now let's start rolling them into balls. So with a tablespoon, get an amount in your hand. And it is quite delicate. Now just sort of push it with your hands into a ball size shape. And now you want to keep repeating the same process for all of your mixture. And now we've got to put them into the fridge to set. The cold temperature in the fridge will help dry out that extra moisture. Now while we wait, let's make a quick dipping sauce. I'm using one big tablespoon of tahini. Add in a good squeeze of lemon juice. Add some salt. And now to thin it out, we're going to add a little bit of cold water. And we're going to give it a good stir. Now I know you guys all know I love my mini utensils. So I've got a mini whisk here. We're going to whisk it up. Now after whisking, it'll be nice and creamy like this. So just try and adjust to your liking. If you have been following me for a while, you know I very rarely fry anything, but falafel is one thing that does taste better when it's fried. Now with a spoon, gently drop them in the oil. And after a couple of minutes, you want to turn them around when they're nice and golden. And when they're done, what I have to do is drain them on a paper towel to get rid of the extra oil. And now keep going in batches until they're all done. Look how good these look. And there you have it, my homemade falafel with tahini dressing. Let's give it a try. Dip it into the sauce. Look at that. Mmm. Look at the inside. Look at all those beautiful herbs. So nice and green. These are so yummy and packed full of flavor. I know you're going to love it. So please give it a try. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.